I made an Iron Man account that cannot interact with any updates released after August 10, 2007, the date Old School RuneScape is based on, with the goal of achieving max total level and obtaining every items from the original 2007 collection log. And after that, we'll see what other challenges awaits me. Welcome to 2007 Log. Hello everyone and welcome to my video. So I am now ready to start runecrafting on this account. All of my levels so far came from questing and tears of critics, but it is now time to craft some runes. I will be crafting most of my runes through the abyss, so for that a high mining and agility level helps. For that reason, I got level 60 through mining last video, and I will be getting at least level 65 by mining per essence. As for agility, let's head to the wilderness agility course till I get at least level 65. Missed the level but just got level 60. Here's level 65 agility, so I'm done with this place for now and let's go mine some pure essence. So before starting with runecrafting, I do need to get a few smithing levels, so let's check my resources here. Almost 1.5k coal, that's pretty good for only 2 or 3 days. With a few herbs also, yeah that's a few hours of mining saved right here. Alright, so I'm 2 days later here, let's check how much resources I got. Another 1k coal, a lot of herbs, perfect. So I'm done smelting my coal with 1.2k steel bars. And here's level 55 is smithing, so that's good enough for now. I just wanted a few levels to make sure I was good for Tears of Critics for a few weeks. Okay, so I'm all done with those steel bars. 254 steel plate bodies, so that's gonna be like 200k in alk, so that's really good. Before starting runecrafting, let's get another level without actually runecrafting. Here it is, level 51. And I got 66 magic, so I'm now able to enter the um, magic guild here. And this is the best place for me to mine pure essence. So that's going to be my home for a while. I'll need about, uh, well, at least 20k pure essence, but I may mine up to 25k. I'll see. Just got level 65 mining when um, mining pure essence. That's my second level already. So mining pure essence is quite straightforward. I just wear my um, wind reducing armor. And I wear a green dehyde body because I need to go in the abyss once in a while. Just come here, mine a full inventory, fill out the pouches, and I just run back to the bank. And then the only problem is that every 29 trip, this uh, large pouch here degrades and it holds less per essence after. So that means that I need to repair it, and in 2007, and it was not possible to contact the Abyss Mage through the NPC contact spell. So that means that every time my pouch degrades, I need to go and meet him in the Abyss. So that means I need to stop mining quite often, especially once I get the giant pouch, which degrades every 11 time I fill it up. But at least I do craft one inventory of rune every time I visit the Dark Mage, so it's not a complete waste of time. So here, I'm just gonna go teleport to Edgeville, well to my house, and this here is why I got my mining level up and my agility level up, I need to get through those things here, with level 99 I believe that you never fail them, at my level I will fail them quite often, but that's fine, I'm just crafting 25k runes for now, and then here's the dark mage, I can repair my pouches, and then I craft some nature runes. Then I teleport to Watchtower. And I'm back at the Purescence mine. So that's it, that's how I'm going to be mining Purescence. I get 5 to 6k mining experience per hour, and that includes the time I take to repair my pouches. So I mine 1 to 1.2k essence per hour. That's not too bad, but considering the amount of Purescence I need, this will be quite a grind. Depending on the rune I craft, I will need between 1 and 1.3 million pure essence for 99 rune crafting. So yeah, definitely the biggest scaling grind on this account. But for now, I'll just get um, 25,000. That's because, in my opinion, buying la rune at this point is a waste of money. I can just craft them soon. So I'll craft 5,000 la rune and I'll craft 20,000 nature rune. And with the nature rune, I'll be able to mine those uh, to mine to alk. <laughs> All of my Yulong boards that I'm going to be cutting and uh, making here. And with that said, I got a black pickaxe here. I said in one of my previous videos that I will be using this pickaxe for runecrafting because it is the lightest pickaxe in game. And while this is true, a viewer in my comment um, mentioned that this pickaxe only came out in 2014. And they are right. Completely forgot about that. I was sure it was out in 2007. So I will be dropping it. Thank you to that viewer, by the way. 
Already at 20,000 pure essence, 5,000 to go. And here it is, that's gonna be 25,000 pure essence. So I'm all set now to start rootcrafting 20,000 nature runes and 5,000 law runes. And here is 98 wood cutting. Perfect. So one more level to go. We've been cutting a lot of U-logs. A total of 38,000 U-logs plus the 20,000 that I've cut already. I got a feeling I don't have enough money left in here. Let's check. 492k. Yeah, that's not enough. I need at least 750k every day in here to be able to get maximum resources. So for now, let's check the resource I got. Alright, 2.4k coal, some nice herbs. And let's remove that money for now. I'll come back and put some more once I start alking again. I'm just buying some bronze pickaxe here because I don't want to lose my rune pickaxe in the abyss. Alright, well, let's go through those 25,000 pure essence. This is really bringing back some old memories here, just uh, the weight reducing outfit. Just crafting, remember back in the day crafting double gnats, making bang with them. My only difference compared to how I was crafting back in the day or how uh, most people craft their runes is that I'm not going to be using a glory because I just have, I think, three glories. So I'm going to have to go and recharge them like all the time. I'm actually going to teleport to my house and use my glory here. That just made me realize that the glory is pretty far from the portal. Hmm. I really think that's going to be worth it here. I'm going to remove this garden and I'm going to build a trophy hall. And I can come here, build another Amulet of Glory. So that's good because uh, here I'm going to land around right here when teleporting. My glory is right there to teleport to Edgeville, so it's a bit less of a wag. I know it doesn't seem like too much of a difference, but uh, with thousands of trips, it is going to make a difference. I'm sure this is going to sound crazy to a lot of people, but I just love room crafting. <laughs> it's probably like my favorite or one of my favorite skills. So I've now ran out of energy and I do not have any energy potions. So that brings me to this clip here from my last video. So I'm just training those bows here and I just thought about a reason for actually keeping them. So here was my reason not to string all of my bows. I will be running a lot when we're crafting, meaning that I will need energy or super energy potions to run consistently. If I don't run consistently, my experience per hour will drop significantly. However, there is no way that I will be able to sustain enough energy potions on this account to use them all the time. So I had an idea. What if I keep my resources for bank standing skills, like fletching, for when I'm runecrafting? This way, I can consistently run to the runecrafting altars, and when I run out of energy, I will just use my resources, which I would have used in another time anyway. With how long this runecrafting grind is going to be, if I can save a few hours here and there, it is definitely worth it. This is really going to save me a lot of time in the long run, because uh, walking to the altar would pretty much take double the time compared to running, and um, that would be a lot of time waste when I can just Go and fletch bows in the meantime, which I would be fletching anyway. Got 9,000 fletching experience while waiting for my run energy to go up. Alright, well it seems like I can do 3 trips to the altar before running out of run energy. So that's pretty good, I was expecting it to maybe just be 2. And here's the first rune crafting level, level 53. I'm just about to finish an hour here of rune crafting and fletching when running out of run energy. And here is the experience that I've got. So. Right around 7.5k experience in runecrafting and in fletching 74k. I just did some quick math and uh, doing this until uh, 99 fletching would also give me just about 1 million experience in runecrafting. Alright, so I got level 54 runecrafting so I can now craft law runes and I'm running out of them. So I think I'm gonna go and craft 5k law runes before getting back to the nature runes. However, Laroons are a bit annoying to craft through the Abyss because you cannot wear any armor on Entrana. So every time I get to the La Portal, I need to actually drop my pickaxe and I cannot wear my Grindy Hide body. So what I'm thinking is trying to craft them through the Balloon system. I remember doing that back in the day and it was pretty good. So for that, I just need to unlock the route to Entrana and I also need to get some logs and some dual rings. So let's get to that. Here's some ring of dual rings. And here's the logs. Alright, so I just unlocked the balloon to Castlewar. 
This log storage here did not uh, exist in 2007, I believe. So I need to bring one log with me every trip. I can't just store them in there. All right, so that's how it's going to work here. My weight reducing items. My bank, all the items I need at the top. Need a log. And let's go. I meet when Trina, please. I forgot that I needed a lot of lessmen. So here it is. I got one at the end of a quest. All right, so here's the altar. And here's the tiara. And here's the law runes. This is a lot of money saved, by the way. Like every trip um, buying those law runes would have cost me like 8 to 10k. So, yeah, it's gonna save me a lot of money in the long run. But this is the same thing here. I'm gonna be running out of run energy. So, I'll constantly need to be doing uh, Yulong bows. This is quite rough on run energy, though. In two trips, I'm already down to 25%. So that means every two trips I'm back to fletching. Well, I really like runecrafting this way, but I run out of energy just too quick. So that makes it that I just fletch too often. So I'm going to run out of supply really quick. So because of that, I'm going to go back to the abyss, unfortunately. So I'm just going to go and stock up on some bronze pickaxe. This is probably the best place to buy bronze pickaxe here. That's where I used to buy them back in the days. All right, so here's the bronze pickaxe. I'll need one per trip. Bit annoying, just gotta drop my pickaxe every time or I can't go into the portal. And here, this should be over 5,000 Laroon. So that saved me a lot of uh, gold from buying them. That's good, and I'll be stocked for a while. So now I'm gonna be switching back to nature runes. And here is 85 fletching. I can now fletch magic longbows. So this was one of my goals that I've set a few videos ago. And it's done. But I still have over 6,000 new longbows to finish. Here's the weekly tiers of Gutix, 135 tiers for an herb lore level, level 53. And here's 86 fletching. Slowly running out of bows here, still 12,000 pure essence to go, so I'll be running out of these before pure essence. So that's my last three bows here, so I'm done with fletching, level 86. And if I check my bank, I still have 10,000 pure essence. So that's not much really. I think I'm just going to craft them normally just to get rid of them quickly. So I'll be back in just a moment. And here is 60 rune crafting. Here's level 62. That's going to be the last level I'm going to get with my pure essence. Well, that's it. That's going to be 20,000 niche runes crafted. So I'm all done with rune crafting for now. I'll set to start um, some high alchemy. But that's going to be for next episode though. Next episode, I am going to be making a lot of money. Thank you everyone for watching and I'll see you in two weeks.